in this 2012 Legacy, if you look just in front of the air intake and the gap here, you'll see the PCV valve. The air intake needs to come off and first remove two panel fasteners. with a flat blade screwdriver and snap this small cover. And also with a flat blade, loosen this screw clamp. That's good. Just back it up a little bit. Now pull that large hose off the throttle body. Ah, can you get it? There. And then these are undone here. Unplug a sensor on the intake and unsnap the air cleaner covers. Well, there's something still on. Then there's a vacuum hose on the right side underneath that you need to unclamp and pull off. Yeah. That completed, you can lift it out of the way. And the PCV valve is right out in the open now. Now it's recording. So just, just wheel the valve and uh, it'll pull out. It's just an odd little one position clamp on there. And here's the clamp. For fun, we were just checking this clamp over. And um, we opened it up and realized it's just a one position clamp. You could reuse this. You know, we opted to put a screw clamp in there. It's almost like you need a, it's a weird little clamp. <laughs> You're close. <laughs> Let's pull the old valve off the hose. Just kind of wiggle and pull. Oh. Go ahead. It's stuck. We're going to sub in another clamp here. Make sure it's not going to rub on anything, too. We're going to put it in the place where we can get our screwdriver in there. Push the new valve into the hose. So we plugged it in down there. I think it's all the way in. You might want to check. Yep. We're not tightening this much at all. Reversing your removal steps, put the air intake assembly back into place. I'll get that out. Don't forget to attach and reclamp that vacuum hose. Oh, it's still not tight. Thanks for watching this Subaru PCV valve replacement, Excellent. and please subscribe.